And hello from Saudi Arabia. We find ourselves today at the King Fahd Stadium in the city of Riyadh. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And on the menu for you, live coverage of this Saudi Pro League match. It's Al Hilal, and they face Al Nasser. Well, thanks, Derek. Real chance. Oh, that is a wonderful piece of challenging. Look at the starting lineup for Al Hilal. Yasin Bounou is the goalkeeper. Ruben Neves plays with Sergei Milinkovic Savic in the center of midfield. And the striker today is Alexander Mitrovic. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, they're matching up here, so midfield domination will be key to winning this game. If they can manage that, it will then allow their fullbacks to join their attacking play. Teammates available. Malcolm! Oh, terrific goal! How about that? Absolutely magnificent! Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing and great connection. What a goal that is. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Brozovic. Alamri. Laporte. Al Ghanam. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Alexander Mitrovic. And the ball's gone. Brozovic. Now options are plenty. Ronaldo. Now Mane. Tellez. On to Ronaldo. Oh, to level the match. And he's gone and scored to level us again. Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. So back underway, following the equaliser. Ronaldo. Oh, big chance! Well, the goal disallowed. Offside, Stuart. Yeah, I think everybody switched off there. It was quite clearly going to be offside. Abdul Hamid. Milinkovic Savic. Michael. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Teammates in the middle. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Over it comes. Clearance needed to be better. Neves. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Short corner it is. He read it well, but still work to do. Breaking at pace. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Otavio. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. <whistles> 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 
The first half here comes to an end. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Ronaldo, opportunity here, the crossbar got in the way. On a time for composure on the ball. Yasser Al-Shahrani. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'd have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. Well, fantastic reflex action. And the substitution will occur now. Playing it short, and it's played into the centre. <laughs> Let's take another look, because it's a well-worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Mitrovic, chance to put them in front. It's still alive. Well, it's a wild attempt. He needed something better. Offside, however. Well, you're right. He didn't know it was going to be offside, and that was a shocking miss. Abdullah Al Khaybari. And a throw in here for Al Hilal. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Salem Al Dosseri. Michael. Mohamed Al Buraik. Well, credit to him for the challenge and a throw in conceded. Time for a change then. Well, great read there to intercept. Yahya. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And a goal to re establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. The On with the game then, 3-2. What will happen next? Salem Aldosseri. Alexander Mitrovic. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Well, with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. Abdulela Al Amri. High pressing and good high pressing. Neves. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. Brozovic. Plenty of support here. He's in behind. Mane. Just the challenge that was required. Salem Al Dosseri. And so into the final five minutes. Sultan Al Ganam. And he was in the right place to intercept. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Well, he couldn't quite keep that header down. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. Malcolm. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. 
And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors.